Come on now. Come on, Anthony. What's happening, everybody? <clears throat> All right. RD Truck and Anthony. <clears throat> Light bright. What's going on? We, uh, we have a new YouTube channel. Of course, I announced this before, right? Um, announced it before, but the new channel is this. Right? And the link is in the description. <clears throat> so, what this new channel is going to be about is there's a lot of truck drivers that, uh, camp right they go camping or they want to get into camping and uh, so I'm starting an RV channel to show uh, like when we go camping right with everybody uh, we'll put videos on there of course you know I need to get it to a thousand subs so we can go live at the campgrounds and things like that when we do go camping so you can see what's going on uh, so if everybody goes to the link in the description uh, that <clears throat> that would be cool right because uh, then we could grow the channel where we could do live feeds, right? And we're going to give some RV buying tips. And on that channel, we're going to do everything's about RVing, right? So we're going to start putting more and more videos on there. Um, and you all like that. I'm going to switch accounts real quick on my phone, okay? And uh, then I'm going to go to here and to make it. And here to make it good for everybody. I'll just put a comment in there. So now, if you go to the comment I just left on the screen, uh, you can click on it and subscribe, right? Let's see what else is going on. RD Trucking says seven. 730 miles. So, right there's the name of the channel, right? You can subscribe, it's in the comments. You just click on it, go to channel, hit subscribe. Oh, you can go there. Okay, now, so let's start it out. Uh, Overtax Minnesota says this. He needs buying tips. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you something that's really uh, priceless. And knowing what to do when you're going to get an RV, right? So we're going to use their website for this demonstration. If you're going to buy a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, you got to know if your pickup truck can pull it. Now I'm going to show an example of what a dealership or what they go by will say, and you think you're good, and then when you go buy, ooh, coffee time. And when you go buy that RV and spend twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars on it, and then you get pulled over by DOT, and they look at your plate and they say, "Oh, guess what? You're overweight." Now you get a big ticket. You can't haul the RV. You got to go buy a new truck. Here's an example. If I go in this towing guide and I go down here, now watch this. Everybody knows I have a power wagon, 2016, right? And we're going to say Dodge Ram. Check this out. Now, power wagon is not listed anywhere in here. Nowhere. So the dealer's going to say, what do you have? Oh, it's a 2500 crew cab short bed, right? And what do you have? Well, I don't have two-wheel drive. That's a four-wheel drive with the 6.4 engine, right? So they're going to go down here. And they're going to say, oh, well, you have this four-wheel drive right here, 6.4 engine, 373. No, i got a 410 gear ratio. So they're going to go to this one right here. And what this is telling you is 15,630 pounds, he's going to say, I can haul. And they're going to say, I can have 2,500 pounds on, in the bed of the truck payload because they're going by this. But if you go to Ram Trucks, towing payload, right here here's the Ram trucks now couldn't go back it's 2016 but this is the same thing right same so we go down here to the uh, power wagon 
Let me see if we can find it in here. Laramie, Laramie, Tradesman, Bighorn, Power Wagon. Here it is, folks. Look at this. This is a three-quarter ton truck. That that dealer just says I can haul 15,000 plus pounds and I can have 2,600 pounds payload in my in the bed of the truck. When you go to the Ram site to see what the truck can actually do, even though it's a three-quarter ton, folks, it's not a three-quarter ton because it has off-road rock climbing suspension. That knocks it down to 1450 on the payload in the bed, which means you cannot haul no fifth wheel on the market because all fifth wheels on the market are usually 2000 plus on the fifth wheel. Look at the towing capacity. It can only tow 9,790 pounds. That's 6,000 pounds less than the dealer says. Therefore, if I was to buy a fifth wheel, right, let's go back. Let's say I wanted to buy this fifth wheel because I need I need something that sleeps nine or ten. I need a bunkhouse. This is a good example. Here's this fifth wheel for thirty-two grand on sale. I would have bought this. They would have sold it to me. Ninety-two twenty on the weight. That's empty weight, folks. Empty weight. You got to include the passengers in your vehicle when you tow things for you know for the bed. If this thing has a tongue weight of 800 pounds, that means I can only have 600 plus pounds in the truck. So anything more than a few people, forget it, right? But if you start loading this up with, with stuff, it's going to be over the tow rating of the vehicle. So you would spend 30 something thousand dollars on this camper and to find out your truck can't pull it if you ever got pulled over. You have to buy a new truck. So, in that truck, this Ram truck right here, because see, you see the difference. See, this is what they're looking at. You see the difference here. 20, the 2017 Ram 2500 and the 2500 Power Wagon, look, they're almost 3,000 payload weight. Only 1450, it's half. 15350, that's what the dealer came up with right there. This is what it really does on the Power Wagon because they don't know the difference of these two trucks and most people don't either because they think they bought a three-quarter ton they figure it's three-quarter ton it is a three-quarter ton but it doesn't have the three-quarter ton pulling power because of the suspension because it's made for a different application folks so I go to buy an RV let's say and, and can't get a fifth wheel now or I just have to change trucks right so is it Go buy a dually for ninety thousand dollars for a Dodge dually with the Cummins, and then spend thirty, forty, fifty thousand on the fifth wheel, end up with one forty. Or you say, hey, let's look at Class A motorhomes, right? Because then you can just tow your vehicle behind the motorhome. And let's look at those because some people say, oh, those are real expensive. They're not that expensive if you get gas powered. You don't need a diesel pusher. Uh, they're nice, but you don't need them, right? Um, right, Sergeant Ringo. Uh, he he says uh, on the Ram you can even put your VIN number. I'll give you a payload. Right, all power wagons have the same payload, Sergeant Ringo. There's no difference on the power wagon. They're all the same because of the suspension. All right, so if we go to this menu and we say uh, let's look for an RV finder and let's look at Class A motorhomes. This is how cheap you can get a Class A motorhome for. Uh, there's all different kinds of them, right? This one here is 91 grand and so forth. But you filter it for your needs. Uh, get out of here, customer service. We need a floor plan style. We want a bunkhouse, right? So we go down here and says, let's see everything with a bunkhouse. There's 72 of them. We hit done, and we're going to filter this. Get done. All right. So here's the ones with the bunkhouses. All right, we did the bunkhouse um, price range. Here's the different price ranges. So if you want to spend seventy-five to ninety thousand, you click that button. If we don't want to spend over one hundred five, we want sixty thousand. Those will be those three, and that's all we're going to see. So we slide it. We scroll on through here. You find one that you like. You know that's ninety-nine there. Another ninety-nine. 
Here's an $89,000 Fleetwood. That's a nice looking unit, right? Here's your design, your layout. That's the interior. You sell 89 grand, approximately 500 bucks a month. This is how you RV buy, folks. Uh, because you can say, okay, what could we haul in a travel trailer if we didn't want to spend that kind of money? So we go to the travel trailers and we're going to go down here and we're going to filter it the same way, okay? We need the bunkhouse floor plan. Get out of here, customer service. We're going to keep saying that to you. you keep popping up. And if you want a bath and a half, you click on that. Or if you want two bathrooms, so forth. Uh, you got length and slides. Okay, you got to have the big length. Hit done. Now this is what's going to happen. This is only 7,570 pounds. And people say, wow, you could buy that. It's only $28,000. And uh, you can haul 9,000. If you click back to RAM, I can haul 9,790. But this right here is the difference, the payload. That includes everybody in the truck. Okay? So when you go to this site, and you can see view details on this monster, a lot of times in the specs, if it'll show you, most specs will show you tongue weight, right? So we click specifications and we come down here, hitch weight. See this right here? 728 pounds. Minus the 14.9 means I can have 700 pounds in the truck. So if you are taking six people in your truck, right? Three in the front, three in the back, can't do it. Because it's going to add up over, over 14 payload. And <clears throat> you got to look at your 7,500, 70 pounds. By the time you put stuff in there, you're going to be over 9,000 pounds, right? Uh, gross weight's 92.95. But this hitch weight is what's the killer. That means that takes half of the payload away on that power wagon. That means it really can't haul that. Yes, you could haul it with just you in it or two or three people, maybe. Um, that means nothing else in the truck, nothing in the bed of the truck, no goodies in there. Um, there you go. Seedless says, good thing about trailers, you can park it and drive it, pick it up at a campsite. Yeah, you can do that. Um, Hool says, useless trucks. No, they're great trucks. For, well, it'll pull the semi-truck out of the dirt and everything else. So it'll pull the weight. But legally... Right? Everybody loves those quote things legally. Um, you can't, but it will. Right? I use it to pull the semi out when it's buried down to the axles, trailer and all. It pulls it out. Um, so it can pull. It can pull anything because it has a motor and everything. But they say suspension wise and all that, you know, they have their, you know, their little rules, right? So can't do it. Okay? That is a little uh, part about, you know, doing this and buying RVs. So, one, you got to sit down and you got to realize what you want, right? If you want a fifth wheel and you don't want a travel trailer, you're set on a fifth wheel, you actually got to look up and see what your truck can do. Because see how people get in trouble is they go to the dealers and the dealer's just going by this program. And the program says, yeah. And they'll sell you right to the max, right? They'll sell it right to the max. And then you get out there and get in a wreck or whatever, and because your vehicle not supposed to pull it, brakes fail or something, they check it, you're in trouble. Because you're pulling something you're not supposed to pull. Or in Michigan, you see a lot of them pulling over RVs, uh, pulling trailers and, and fifth wheels, because they know people don't realize what their truck can actually pull. Truckers do, right? Because we all go by weights. We know. Don't get overloaded. You don't want to get caught overloaded. Big trouble. So, if you set on a fifth wheel, make sure your truck can do it. And if not, then you got to trade it in. Uh, I go motorhome-wise because, one, they're not that much more expensive than a fifth wheel. Right? You can look at some of these fifth wheels that are 77000 You can get a motorhome for the same 77000 to me, motorhome's better if you got a family because everybody can ride in it 
you can pull your car behind it, and you have a bathroom when you're going down the road, you don't stop for bathroom breaks. You can cook going down the road, you don't stop to eat. Uh, it's just a much better family experience uh, because, you know, you got a travel trailer or whatever, you go on the road and you got, to say, three kids with you and the wife. One of the kids has to go to the bathroom, you stop. Oh, no, I don't have to go. You know, the other ones don't have to go. And then you go five minutes down the road, ten minutes down the road. Oh, i got to go to the bathroom. So you're stopping a whole lot more, right? Uh, you're stopping a whole lot more. Uh, so that's why when I buy an RV, it's motorhome. Because it's what, you know, what we need at that time for camping. Uh, a lot of people like travel trailers. A lot of people like fifth wheels. So there's something for everybody. But you always got to make sure you have the right vehicle towing what you're doing, right? What you're buying. And a lot of people don't know about this. And when we went out looking at RVs, uh, we looked at travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes. We were set on a fifth wheel. We were told our truck could pull it. I almost bought it. Almost bought it. And then I remembered seeing something online about power wagons and the towing capacity. And so I went and researched it. And then when I went back and told the dealer I can't buy that RV because my truck can't pull it. He said, no, no, it can pull it. See, it says right. I said, no, 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 no. It says right here. This is the true numbers. Down here, see. You're looking at these numbers up here, right? This 15,350 pounds. I can only do 97.90 with that truck. And the weight and the payload. All fifth wheels... Tongue weight's over 1,500 pounds, so they can't even pull a fifth wheel. And you'll see them pulling fifth wheels. It means they don't know what they're doing. Right? So then, you have to make a decision. Do you sell your truck, get a new truck, get a fifth wheel, and when you add all that up, it's double the price of a motorhome. Right? Because let's say you buy a motorhome for, let's say you buy that one for 70, just over 70,000. Brand new Dodge Ram, dually is 90 grand. You buy a fifth wheel, let's say you get a moderate one for 50, that's 140. You're paying double. Right? Double. So, yes, Snorlord. Snorlord, he's got jokes. Check Snorlord out, man. Yeah. Snorlord got jokes. Yeah, Snorlord is a podcast. You could have pulled it with the Pro Star. Yes, Norlord, you are absolutely correct. I could have um, pulled it with, let's say, the Pro Star. But the only problem with pulling fifth wheels with semi trucks is some of the campgrounds don't let a semi truck in. Some of them don't. Uh, you know, most of them probably will, but some of them don't. And that's another thing let's talk about if you're going camping. Let's say you want to camp around your house or around your state. Look at all the campgrounds you really want to camp at and see what their length is. A lot of them can't fit 39-footers in there, 40-footers, right? They have like a 30-foot length limit or something like that. So if you buy one that's too long, guess what? You can't go to your local campground, right? Yes, yeah, Snorlord just saved me here. Yeah. Boom! See, that's what he's saying. He's saying, boom! I just saved you 40K! I love you, Snore Lord. You, you, you know how to, to get the books right. Keep it in line, right? Keep it in line. He is good at this. He's got his calculator out, man. And he's rocking and rolling it. Um, here, Sargeringo says, The new Ram 3 is the most capable truck I've ever seen. SWR can pull up to 25K and more. Than, yeah, they can actually pull... 30 something thousand actually if you get the Cummins diesel with the right setup they're in the 32 or 4 thousand dollar range somewhere in there um, if you come down here and we'll show you one of the trucks it's in here let's go let's go up here and let's see what Dodge says right let's see what Dodge says we're gonna go 2019 Right, we're gonna go 2019 Ram 3500. Maximum, maximum. 
You see this? 35 1. So if you scroll down, you will find it. There it is. You get this 3500 dually. 6500 payload capacity with 35,000 towing. 35,000 folks. Right? That's the truck I looked at. Because if you're going to buy one, you don't want to buy one and then regret and say, I should have bought this. That Dodge Ram, 3,500 dually with the Cummins, right? With the thousand foot pounds of torque. It could pull anything that an RV has. It don't matter what RV's on the lot, that thing can pull it. Right? So, <clears throat> that's what that is. Oh, the bathroom's better now. Yes, Pamela B. Um, you don't smell nothing coming up through the uh, bathrooms. Um, the RV we have has two but two full bathrooms in it, right? Uh, we've done it that way because it sleeps ten. Uh, there's a bunkhouse, right, for two kids. It sleeps ten. That way, we, if you have guests with you, they have their own bathroom, and you know, the adults have their own bathroom. Uh, so they're separate, <clears throat> right? Uh, a good longevity bonus would be a travel trailer of choice. That's what uh, that's what Sonar says. Donnie Luke says you got to pay to play, right? This is so true, Donnie Luke, right? If you're gonna, if you want to haul the big fifth wheel, you got to pay to play, right? You got to, you got to just buy that Lone Star, you know, with the Cummins in it and everything, thirty-five hundred, and the price tag is going to be. Eighty, ninety thousand dollars. See, it's funny. It says thirty-nine. That's like a super, super base nothing. So you say search inventory. Let's check it out. Let's check out and see. Here's an MSRP. This is not going to be uh, the one. This here will be a dually seventy-eight thousand dollars. This here is the one right here. This is the truck. 85 grand. That's what it's going to cost you. Uh, exactly what it's going to cost you. And if you click in here, it's going to show you. And that's the truck. It's going to be a dually. It's going to have the high output motor, all that stuff, because you click on the window sticker. Um, here it is. And you're going to see it, right? Thousand foot pound torque motor, uh, all that. And then when you come over here, you see it's a twelve thousand dollar add-on for the motor. And you got your running boards that pop down, all that good stuff. Um, you're going to have your optional group. And then somewhere in here, it's going to have the dually. Uh, charge for the dual wheels somewhere in here it's going to say that but anyway it's got the towing capacity right the extra towing technology group all that stuff on it and so forth and so forth and so forth <clears throat> so there you go that's that truck that's going to pull it right that's going to pull it. But who wants to spend that kind of money? I don't. I don't want to spend that kind of money. So there you go. Sergeant Ringo wants to uh, switch, right? Wants to switch. So. Go to my RV channel, right? We're going to start that up. If I can get, I got one video on there showing how to hook tow hooks up to the front of the power wagon because Blue Ox says they don't 
sell that kit no more because they stopped at 2012, but the 20s all the way up to 2018 Power Wagons have the same front end, so they do work. Um, I showed that a little installation video. Um, I'm going to start showing camping videos and things like that when we do go camping. And we'll show how to do stuff with an RV that people might not know or what to what to bring, little handy stuff, right? Just a bunch of, you know, things like that. And uh, when Snorlord comes over and goes RVing with me, uh, we'll show that too, right? So, I'll post it up there again. There's the RV channel. If you click on it, go to channel, hit subscribe. We get that up to a thousand. Uh, when we do go, we do out go out camping and stuff. You will see that, right? You'll see it, and uh, we'll show all that good stuff. Been working on a new big rig radio network. Uh, design and everything and because everybody knows I like Mack trucks right so thought about making some t-shirts with it you know and uh, see how that goes anybody want to see the design so far I'll throw it up here on the screen uh, if anybody wants to see the design we'll do that Yes or no? Anybody want to see it? Let's see. I'll take some input, right? What do you think? What do you think of this? If I put this on t-shirts, like on the back? If you like Mack trucks, right? We could do this with any truck. I might do it with a few different trucks, like a T680 and things like that, because, you know, the background will be the same. Um, but the truck, right? We can just put the different trucks in there. So what do you think of this? See, if we do this with the bigger greater network up here and have any type of truck we can insert here, right? What do you think, Sergeant Ringo? What do you think of this design? We could we could put any truck in here. We could put RD's truck in here, right? We could put Snorlord's truck in there. Sergeant Ringo's truck, right? Whatever you guys drive, we could put it in there and that would be on the back. And then on the front of the shirt, we would just have you know, the BRN, right? So, just like for Pamela B and them, we could put the Globe Trotter in there, right? We could stick that truck in there. Um, yes, Little Viking Coach. You know, I need you to do a, a video of that Little Viking Coach about how to back up a trailer and how you would get it from the Snorlord, right? How Snorlord Tractor Trailer Backup School is in session. <laughs> Anybody hasn't subscribed to Little Viking Coach, click it on his icon, man. Subscribe to him. He's got great... I love his parodies, right? It doesn't even matter. I don't care if they're about me, or it doesn't matter, right? It's it's all fun. Uh, he's he's great at I don't know how he can do it. Yeah, right? He thinks real fast about it. Boom. Kind of like when I do math on the, on the whiteboard, right? Uh, it just comes natural. And uh, Little Viking Coach's channel is great. Great stuff. I reckon the Volvo lawyers will be wanting to talk to you about that. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What do you mean, Hulu? You can do whatever you want. It's just a picture. You can take a picture of your truck and put it on there. They can't stop you from doing that. If they could, every t-shirt maker in the country would be sued. Right? They'd all be sued. Because if you go to truck stops, right? If you go to the truck shows, just like the one truck uh, shirt I got from... Uh, uh, hot rig it's got pictures of trucks on the back so you're not violating no copyright rules or picture rules or whatever oh yeah that'd be cool right like have uh, a lineup of Max like right here in a row and then maybe do one with Peterbilt Freightliner you know Kenworth uh, Western Star remember the Western Stars when they were real Western stars uh, and all that. Yeah, but it's the, the picture ain't. You could take a picture, let's say, um, let's say over text in Minnesota. Dave sends me a picture of his truck. I could put it on that. There ain't nothing to do about 
Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right. So that is what is going on. Let's see what Jimmy Joe says. <laughs> Some of the best camping has been at the Marriott. I never had to flush my black tanks ever. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That is funny. Uh, what else we got here? What Snorlord got an idea? Hool, you're funny, man. Hool's got jokes. He's been, you know what Hool's been doing? He's been smoking cigars and he's been tilting the Knob Creek. He must be over other Trucker Jane's best house. Um, they're sitting in the hot tub and all that great stuff, right? <laughs> and they're getting ready to make a YouTube video and that gives uh, LVC a whole lot of ammunition. Because <laughs> when, you, when you start slurping down the Knob Creek, look out. Uh, your Snorlord, he wants a longevity bonus, right? That's what he wants. Uh, and of course, you know, you got Sergeant Ringo. He's he's agreeing with him. Now that's an idea, Snorlord, right? Pamela B says seventy nine thousand buys a lot of hotel rooms. Yeah, but Pamela B, the hotel rooms, you know. You can't go camping with a, with a great group of people, right? Uh, and you're stuck in a motel where you can sit out there by the campfire, all that good stuff. Um, you know what I'm saying? So you can't do all that, right? Not in a motel. Anyway, uh, I do have some pictures of when we were camping. Um, but I'm going to probably put that in a video or up on a video on the other channel. And I'm going to start doing more videos. So I'm going to take this video when it's done and I'll upload it to the other channel. Right? So it'll be on both. Um, but Snorlord on Facebook, he says, you know, I was doing Facebook Live, which I don't do a whole lot. But he's like, oh, is that your RV? So yeah, it's in the driveway. So I showed, you know, I did a outside... Um, walk around the RV and then uh, I was on the I was live with uh, Pappy right uh, Doug who he's a Walmart driver and he says let's see the inside of it but I didn't have my keys that were in the house um, but while we were gone to Dallas someone don't know who found a set of keys and you know they must have left them in the yard so so oh, they're set down here in the yard so uh, took them Open it up, and I did a tour. I put the pop-outs out, you know, did all that stuff. So that'll be one video on there. Is uh, we'll do a, a tour, right, of of an RV, and uh, show people different workings of it and things like that. Um, this one has a water on demand, hot water on demand, right? Instead of a regular hot water heater. LBC, your state hates my trailer. <laughs> uh, see, here's Donnie Luke, right here. Look, he's down at the fifth wheel drinking cold beer. See, that's what happens on the weekends, right? You truck all week, you come home, you go out to the campground, and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, Snorlord has a trailer. Um, Snorlord has a huge RV, right? Huge RV. And he just doesn't use it. They they go, and when they go camping, they just stay in cabins, right? They do the cabin experience. So his RV just sits at the house. And uh, every once in a while, he'll go out in it. And he always pulls a trailer behind it. And uh, he puts freight in it, right? So he makes money with his RV. Sergeant Ringo, you're right. Grand Design does make some nice art rigs. If you want to see all the rigs, you just go all the way. You just go down to uh, Indiana, Elkhart, Chipshawana, Middlebury, um, all those areas. They're all made there, right? Uh, 
There you go. Little Viking Coach says you can park it on Snow Lord's land. Yeah, he's got to clear it out a little bit, Little Viking Coach. Maybe he can knock down the garage right there uh, because, you know, his tractor's sitting over there. So maybe he can knock down the garage, make a nice, uh, you know, cement pad for it and everything. And we'll just go camping at Snow Lord's house uh, because I know they make really good food over there. Uh, so, you know, we can do that. We can do that. We'll be invited. Yes, here you go. Snorler is afraid if he goes to California, he'll come back wearing flat bill caps and drinking pumpkin spice lattes. That's true. If anybody's seen his video that he shared of Harold, um, he stepped foot in California. It was kind of a hilarious video, right? Stepping foot on, on California soil over there. And uh, <laughs> it was a good video anyway. He shared that experience. He's never been there in California in the semi, and he finally went, right? At Little Viking Coach, uh, you have a golf cart camper. He wants to know. Yes, we don't all drink fancy lattes. CeeLo says, uh, I'm a single guy. I always did the Econoline Class B. Right, so we will uh, go here. And this is what he's talking about, folks. I'll share the screen. See those are saying right here. He does the class B's, he kind of lines. And these are pretty cool too, right? These are pretty cool uh, van setups. Uh, you can see pictures of them. Let's check it out. Let's see what one looks like. Here's your layout. Twin beds on each side. Got a bathroom, wardrobe. Let's click on view details. You know, show you some details. Let's see if they got actual pictures in there. They ain't got no pictures. Oh, there is some of the inside. Check this thing out. Let's check it out. Got beds in here, seats. There's the, the rear doors. That's the shower back there. Right? That's going to be the kitchen area. You're driving her your TV does the job right does the job it's got your refrigerator microwave convection oven probably microwave uh, so forth the little Winnebago your cockpit right driving oh look at the styling see he's styling in a class B and uh, what do they want for a class B Oof, that's more than a class A oh Lord have mercy. He, he goes for the big the big stuff, don't he? Man. But you can tell the difference, right, in, in, in these. Um, you can see them by different brands <clears throat> and so forth. So let's look at Viper and see what they offer because the price is probably different, right? Got the V10 motors in them. Uh, so let's take a look. 102, 102. Let's scroll down to get something that's cheaper. This is 80 for that van. Coming soon. There's one for 93. 114. Those are expensive. But see, they, you know, look at the price of those. Now check this out. What could you get for 115,000? This sleeps three. It's 21 feet long, right? Rear bath. Now if you go to Class A, if you jump up to Class A, and we're going to look at the Class A, so you can pull a lot of weight behind it, right? You can pull a lot of vehicle behind it. Now we're going to look at uh, something in the price range of 150. Get out of here, customer service. All right, price range. Right here, there's 78 of them in that range. So let's see what they look like. This one here is 119. That's in the price range. So you can go from that to this for the same price. Of course, it's going to be you know a little a uh, little bigger, right? It's going to be a little bigger. 
but you get bigger beds. You know, you can sleep more people in it. Uh, but you know, it's a little a little harder to park for for some people, right? A little harder to park. Uh, but you know, it's luxury for for what it is. Personally, I'd rather have this over a Class B for the same price because you're getting more bang for your buck. Because that you know that comes down, makes an extra bed, so forth. Uh, bathrooms are bigger, right? Your bedroom's bigger. Some have king size beds, queen size beds. You know, bigger showers, all that good stuff. So. What else we got here? See most of these laughing. Um, Alright, so that's the end of the video. We're going to get out of here. Um, yeah, they are expensive. Alright, we'll see y'all later.